Yeah, so it's it's a debut for sure. But uh, does it feel like one? No, because I've been an actor for a long time now, and I'm doing the same thing. I'm just acting in a different format. So to get used to the format is what uh, is important, you know, uh, which is the adjustment one needs to make. Uh, but otherwise, the craft and to do the uh, the work is the same. Uh, it's final call. It's a book which is written uh, by Priya. Okay, and uh, it's about this plane that's taken off with a pilot who is me, who is not really in his right senses, uh, and what happens? Why is he doing that? You know, uh, you kind of get to discover that through the series, and what's happening to the passengers at the back? What are their backstories? You know, because they know that they've landed themselves. They're all landed into this situation which is out of their control and um, it could be their final call too. So yes, a lot of changes in my character especially which Vijay brought on uh, and I thought they were great changes because uh, even the backstories that he's created for the other characters are, are very very different, you know, so there's a lot of newness there they, and it kind of links well and uh, there's strong messages in each one's story. I think when you get, do a job of any job, you try to get into the character because that's my job to do. In Palton, I didn't play a cop, I played an army uh, officer, okay, uh, it was a true story. So it was very important to get into the character on that level. Um, here, this is a fictitious character, he's, uh, but he does come from the Air Force background because he's been a fighter pilot before, now he is a commercial pilot. Um, so yes, I mean, you kind of train like that, you know, you kind of uh, go there because it's important for me to learn how to fly a plane then. I went through uh, classes where I did the whole course of the flight simulation, how to take off, land, uh, you know, what the different commands are, what the different buttons mean. So uh, it looks real and genuine when we do it. It was about uh, not very long. It was uh, you do about two, three hours, but then otherwise it gets too tedious, and so you can't process everything, you know. Uh, so about two, three hours every day for I think we did it for about eight days. So I shot in Kashmir okay. uh, because uh, the character first is posted in Kashmir and. Um, it's beautiful. It was the first time I went there and everybody should go and it's very peaceful. I know what the news that has come out yesterday is very, very uh, heartbreaking but overall the people there are very peaceful. The, uh, it's truly God's uh, you know, country. I was in Gulmarg. I was uh, there for two, three days and uh, really it's something everybody should experience. Well, I mean, you really feel bad and I think what we need to re uh, realize is the level of sacrifices that our Jawans really make, you know, and our heart goes out to them and to their families. It's really, really sad. Because it's such a cowardly act where somebody has psychologically and mentally changed the mindset of an individual to put a bomb onto themselves and go out there and press a trigger you know, and kill himself and 37 innocent people who've done nothing wrong, they're just doing their job, you know, and their job is to make sure that there's peace and not violence. So uh, it's, it's really a heinous crime and uh, I do hope that it will continue. It is going to keep happening, it happens all over the world. Uh, we just need to, I think, secure our borders more and be more vigilant. Do I relate to him? Yes, I think we all will relate to him because you see the ups and downs the character goes through and it's all about uh, not having anybody there. He's a very lonely person, you know, and I think uh, when we are alone, okay, uh, depending on what our mind state of mind is, you know, you can either go really low or you can go be really, really, really peaceful. 
uh, with Karan Sachdeva, which is my character's name, uh, he is not peaceful when, even when he's alone, you know. So uh, uh, there are mel mental illnesses and he does have one and his is of depression, you know, it is uh, eating into him, there's a lot of guilt, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of voids in his life, in his uh, personality, which he needs to fill. And um, he has nobody to talk to. He has become secluded. He's become alone in life. And, uh, you know, there are a lot of people I've seen who are like that. And uh, it's important for those people to go and meet professionals who can actually help them out. But we feel that that's wrong and egoistically, or, you know, somebody's put it into your mind or into your belief that that is not a cure. Uh, but yes, yeah, sometimes you do need uh, certain help, psychiatric help, and people need to go for that. I, don't, I, I think we've explored it, but I don't know how, to what level have we explored it. Uh, with, uh, when you do a series of it, you can kind of explore it a little more, you know, because you have more time to do so, you know, and you can go more in-depth into it. So, yes. Uh, I think uh, this will be very different from that. I can't compare to say which, which no film really comes to my mind. No, I, th I think they have. I think uh, and it shows with the way the subscription base on all these uh, OTT platforms is really, really is thriving. You know, people are rejecting films if there's no, it's not good in content, but they are accepting films which are which are very very strong content. So I'm totally agreeable with you that the audience today is thinking, is a thinking audience, wants good material, wants to go out there and uh, you know feel that they've spent their time and their money well. You know, uh, otherwise they can be very vicious. And uh, so yes, it keeps an artist and it, which it should on its toes even though it's not about that the artist should anyways be on his toes to come out there and give you the best content and uh, that has been my belief that's why I do less work but try to do something new and different well it's final call and it's coming out on the 22nd so go and get your subscription on uh, Z5 and be the first people to watch it Hi I'm Arjun Rampal and you're watching me on Bollywood Bubble